Jesus and his disciples were in Jerusalem to celebrate Passover. Long ago, God delivered his people from slavery in Egypt. He sent 10 plagues to Egypt. And during the 10th plague, the firstborn of the Egyptians died. The Israelites smeared the blood of a lamb on their doorpost and God kept them safe. He passed over their houses. God said that once a year, the Israelites should celebrate the Passover to remember how he rescued them. He told his people when and how to celebrate. On the day when the Jewish people were supposed to kill the Passover lamb, Jesus sent Peter and John to get the meal ready. He said, go into the city and you will meet a man carrying a jug of water. Follow him. Jesus said that the man would go to a house and the homeowner would show Peter and John a large room upstairs with furniture in it. That was the place Jesus wanted them to get the Passover meal ready. So Peter and John did as Jesus said. When the Passover meal was ready, Jesus and his disciples reclined to eat. Jesus said, truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. The disciples were upset, but Jesus knew this was part of God's plan. Peter said he would never betray Jesus, but Jesus said Peter would deny him three times. Then Jesus took the bread, gave thanks to God for it, broke it, and then gave it to his disciples to eat. Jesus said, this is my body, which I am giving for you. Do this to remember me. Jesus took the cup and gave it to his disciples. They drank from it. And Jesus said, This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for many. They sang a hymn together, and then they went out to the Mount of Olives. Jesus knew he would be arrested and would suffer. Then he would die on the cross to take the punishment for the sins of the world. On the third day, Jesus would rise from the dead. The New Covenant says that everyone who turns away from sin and trusts in Jesus' death and resurrection will be forgiven of his sins and will have eternal life.